thing. And that's just in part from the two triangles, and then tried to get around the world. Well, that's what I did, but I got it wrong. Did you not add it up wrong? Did you get it? Actually, no. 40 is your answer. No, I added it up wrong. Right, okay. Um, the last bit says, give reasons by why P. You can carry on being silly. Oh, I'll stretch, go on, stretch. Yeah, you just have to keep doing it a couple of times. No, because I've got the problem with my elbow. P. P. Q. T. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. The last bit it asked me for. That means it's where you've got the line going all the way down here. And again, it's the same basic idea that we've had before. If you look at this triangle here, it's an isosceles triangle. How do you know it's isosceles? Because it's uh, got, got two lengths the same. Which two? The, the long ones. <laughs> yeah. Right, give me the letters at the beginning then. The um, P and Q. Right, that, that, that is one well, side. Well, me and you, but pink is. <laughs> right. So which two bits are the same then? Huh? Which two bits are the same, did you say? The pink and bit. What, this bit here? No, no, no. Those are going that way. What, here? No. <laughs> that way. Yeah. The P, T, and T, Q. Yeah. Right. They are the same then, but yeah. that doesn't help. Yeah, these two bits are the same because they're the radius. So this is an isosceles triangle. We've just worked out that this is 140. So we've got a triangle. This top bit is 140, and because it's isosceles, these two bits are the same. So these must add up to 180. So they're 20 each. And in that bit, 20, I'm trying to find angle P, Q, T. P, Q, T. Yeah, so this bit is 20. That's a right angle, so that has to be 20. Okay? Those are quite tricky, those, but not as bad as they could be. The last bit I want to, the last thing I want to tell you, which is simple, is question 14.